During Baltimore Fair Crawl, the fair traveler team visited Zeke's Coffee, Eatery and Coffee House and had the pleasure to talk to Brad, one of the managers of family-owned business of coffee roasting in Baltimore. They started as a small shop delivering best directly sourced coffee and now grew. This is their story. We started in 2005 uh, in Baltimore. Uh, we started in uh, right up the street here. Uh, eventually the business grew enough that we were able to get the first bay of this warehouse. Uh, we have then expanded to two more bays of the warehouse and then this office space that we're looking in or that we're in right now. Um, we've also been fortunate enough to be able to expand to a, a DC location and a Pittsburgh location as well. Sure. So we, we started in this location, like I said, and we just we sold pounds out of this location. That's it. We didn't do any food or anything like that. It was just more of an outlet for people to come in during the week, grab a pound of coffee. Um, on the weekends, we started at the farmer's markets. Uh, fortunately for us, there are some great farmer's markets in Baltimore uh, that really supported us and got us going uh, at the beginning. Um, and then 2010, we moved into a cafe space where we started to do some food and and obviously our coffee was the main focus of, of the place. Um, since then, last October, October of 2017, we moved a little bit farther up the road into a, a larger space uh, to accommodate our, our growth, um, also expand our food options. And we have a, a micro roastery, I guess you could call it, sort of a, a roast to order kind of deal. Uh, we have about nine full-time employees plus about four four or five part-time employees also employ people at farmers markets we have a couple of just weekend staff that do farmers markets and, and then our cafe is, is a little bit different we have a couple of managers up there and then really seven or eight employees at the cafe dc's probably around 15 folks and pittsburgh's around 10 to 10 to 15 too mm -hmm. In order to get the best quality coffee, they collaborate directly with farmers. They have their own special coffee lab, where they try out blends and single source coffee of different degrees of roasting. We partner more with, uh, with, uh, directly with, with farms instead of dealing with co-ops because, you know, it, 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 it's more beneficial to the farmer to be able to deal with them directly. We use uh, we use a couple of importers to do uh, to do large purchases like your your Brazilian coffees, your your Colombian coffees. But we also have uh, tried to focus a little bit more on directly trading with farmers. Um, we have connections with farmers in Honduras, Rwanda, and India that we directly trade with. Um, makes it a little bit more sustainable for the grower, and it gives you a little bit more of a connection. You know, with your customers have a little bit more connection with. The actual coffee that they're drinking there's a little bit more of a backstory um so yeah we we have coffee from everywhere in the world though you know in the equatorial regions uh hawaii jamaica indonesia central and south america africa um but it was started by my uncle and uh my cousin works here and friends work here and it, my cousin runs the roastery in dc my cousin other cousin runs the roastery in pittsburgh so it's all very family. family. To be a local roaster, I feel like you should roast in the city. And, mm -hmm. you know, can you be a DC roaster and roast in Baltimore and just have a, a place to ship food down yeah. there? And, you know. Yeah.